Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I wanted to show you how to make these two pendants. Now I'm going to be using some alcohol ink and white clay and that's pretty much it. So um, let's get started with it. I already rolled out some clay. I'm going to use my very favorite stamp for my, for my clay work, uh, the Ornate Background by Simon Says Stamp. I absolutely love it. You can see that I've used it so much. I rolled out the clay but it's not... Uh, I, I did it by hand because I don't want it too thin. I want to... I want it to have some give. So when I'm going to start pressing it into the stamp there is some clay that actually is going to go inside. Now it's pretty warm outside right now so you don't want to leave your clay on the stamp for too long or it's just going to get stuck to it. Which honestly is not a big deal because once it dries out it's just going to pop out but your project is going to be almost impossible to do. So let me just make sure that we have really good impression here and we'll get started. Alright, that's pretty good. So, these are the colors that I'm using today. Butterscotch, and I lost the cup for that. Um, cranberry, uh, lettuce, and this is the piñata uh, calabaza orange. I just got that one. Um, it's my brand new color. I love it. So these are basically, you know, you can see the colors are more like sunset colors fall colors. I wanted to, to um, create something that I knew I was going to uh, I was going to wear. So let's get started here. I'm going to put some red, a bit of orange around the red. I'm gonna put in different spots and you know you don't need to, to use a stamp in order to do this but do you see the variation in color that you get when you do use it? You know, you get the, um, the little grooves and I think it just looks so nice when the color just floats in it. So just in a random kind of order. You don't want to overdo it because when you oversaturate it um, it just turns into this dark mess and you actually don't see any colors so I'm just gonna go easy here add a little bit more orange here I really do like the green just a little more green here and there then you can take your hand and just with your finger kind of fill in the blanks there. So kind of nice the colors are going to mix. So this is what we're going to have. Now of course now you're just gonna have to put it on the side and let it dry. You don't want to deal with the, with the wet ink. So I'm going to do that. But I already have one here that I that is dry. That I did a couple of days ago, so you can see how nicely it looks as it dries. And if you feel that you need to add color, you can go ahead and do so. So this is my circle. I'm going to do another circle here. And I, what I really love about the stamps is that you do have that little swirly thing, so I can I can incorporate into my circle and you have those little leaves but anything at all will go really so that's what I'm gonna do just gonna cut it out and there you go now you can punch out a little hole already now for your pendant uh, for um, for the clasp 
you can do that but you don't have to so now let's see what we can do with the rest of it and this is what I st where I started playing with it I was like okay well let's see if I can start scraping oh, where's my little my thinner blade hmm I didn't see my thinner blade oh. Let's see if we can start scraping it. Oh my goodness, oh there it is. Okay. And cutting it. Kind of like when you're working on Makuma game. Or actually Mica Shift. Let's see what happens if we start just taking off the top. And I started getting this really cool effect. I really liked it. You can see that the alcohol ink penetrated inside the clay a little bit and you started getting this really really neat design going here. So this is what I did. I just, because this is really scraps, I don't want to throw them out. I took and I just placed them together like that and I started scraping this this side here too you don't want to take too much I think I just took too much right there but you get the gist of it anyways so I'm going to just create something here just to show you there I wonder where I want to be the top probably this one see that right here this is what I did but you get this really neat effect it almost looks like a bone so this is going to be ready to go in and bake and you can see that how different the colors are when you put a glaze on it which I did I just put a satin varnish on it but um, one thing that you would have to be careful with it is that you don't want to take too much off like for example right here this is really nice because it's just like sporadic but this is a great way of uh, using your leftover a leftover uh, clay now here I already pre-baked a little piece and I wanted to see if I could take it and I did not scrape it this one is not the one that I scraped but I want to see if I could take it take some sanding paper and go afterwards and scrape it because maybe that would be a better idea and look at that it totally comes off and I actually think that I like this idea better because it's much easier to control as to how much color you take off. See that? So basically I just took regular clay and I cut it, I baked it and then I put it in the water and I sanded it, sanded it off. I think, I th I th you know what, I think I like this one better because you see you really don't have to worry about um, cutting too much off like I said and also you still keep that texture I really love the texture on this so um, I think that's that's the technique that I'm going to be using but having said that I hope you guys enjoyed it very easy tutorial and uh, give it a try until next time my friends ta-ta